Hey everyone, welcome to a new day. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Karina for those of you that are new and I am sitting in the Walmart parking lot so I'm getting ready to go home. Just picked up some stuff we need. Um, yeah, so a couple of stock up items again and uh, stuff we need right now. I still have to uh, tell you about the cake that I made last night. Um, all I can say is no bueno. <laughs> uh, if you understand Spanish, um, no good. <laughs> we did not like it at all. It was very bitter. Um, surprisingly, the, the cup of brown sugar that I spread over the top, we could not taste any sweetness at all. I mean, it just was very bitter cake. Um, so, no, we did not care for it. Uh, so I will obviously not make it again. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the review on the cake. We did not like it. No bueno. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're having leftover tacos tonight. I'll have a small Walmart uh, haul for you. Groceries and household items. And, uh, well, not too many household items. Mainly groceries. So, I'm going to get home um, because I do have some ice cream bars in there and I don't want them to melt. It is cold out today. It is 20 something degrees with a real fill of 14, but that is a very cold 14 degrees. Uh, it's very windy and it's cold. So yeah, I'm going to get home and uh, I don't know what I'm doing next. All right, stay tuned. All right, everyone. So here's the Walmart uh, haul. It's a combination of grocery and non-food items. So this is the non-food items. So uh, we got two boxes of Fancy Feast cat food. Each box has 12 cans. And the price difference between uh, buying them in the box like this or buying them in loose cans is exactly the same. The only reason I got the boxes is they were out of, I'd say, 95% of the Fancy Feast cans. So, and the cats like this uh, pate brand or the pate type rather than the grilled or like the chopped meat uh, type. So I like to get them those. It's a little easier for uh, Prissy to eat also. So I, we got two boxes of those, so 24 cans. I did get a, this is a 50 fluid ounce bottle of hand soap. Uh, it's refill for the smaller uh, the little smaller container. So we still have uh, some of the other refill bottle left and I can still refill the small bottle about two to three more times. But we'll have this when when that one ends we'll already have one. And then I got a refill bottle of Dawn dishwashing soap. This is 38 fluid ounces. So I just washed, uh, washed out the small bottle that I use to wash dishes. I'll go over that with you but and I'll tell you the other brands of dishwashing soap I, I was using and now I'm back to Dawn. <laughs> so and then we got a, oops, a box of 50 quart size freezer bags. These are the bags we use the most and when I break down meat and stuff like that I use the quart size the most. So this is the non-food items of the Walmart haul. All right, so this is uh, dairy, meats, and breads. So we got a pack of bagels, a loaf of bread. We got some, uh, basically these are like drumstick ice cream cones, a great value brand. And it's a uh, eight of them. And I already have them in the freezer, so you can see the box is open. But I saved the box so I could put it in the hall. <laughs> got some sour cream. Got some Philadelphia strawberry cream cheese for the bagels. Got a six pack of Klondike Heath bars. 18 count large eggs. Got some hot dog buns. As you can see, they're already used. Uh, hot dogs, they're used as well. Usually we just eat two and two, but Glenn was one, hungry today, and two, uh, he thought they really tasted good. The only thing I did different this time with the hot dogs, instead of throwing them in the microwave, I threw them on the griddle, the electric griddle. And we also cut some onions up and put them in there, which I normally don't do, but he asked for that. So so he was uh, wanting three today. 
Uh, got four packs of the Black Label Bacon. I figured I'd stock up on that, so I'll cut all these in half. And that is all of the meat spreads and dairy. So I'm going to get the Klondike ice cream in the freezer before they melt. All right, everyone. So this is the last part of the grocery haul, just normal pantry items. I did forget to put the cheese in the dairy section. So I did get a one pound bag of a Fiesta blend shredded cheese. And we'll just start here again. <laughs> um, got some uh, hot cheese, okie dokie popcorn for Glenn. Um, the, we were getting the cheese, just a plain cheese brand, but they, uh, they cut down on some of the cheese there. So he wanted the hot cheese and he said it's still hot. So he likes it. <laughs> I got some uh, syrup. We are going through the syrup quicker than the pancake mix. So I got another syrup. I did get two boxes of cake mix. One, this is dark chocolate fudge. And I just made the other one, which was devil's food. And got two containers of uh, frosting. I really like the fluffy white whipped frosting. Um, I did get chocolate for Glenn, but he reminded me that we agreed that my cream cheese frosting tastes much better than any of the bottom frosting. So I am going to make a cream cheese frosting. And then we, I bought three of these Knorr rice sides. They're a cheddar broccoli. We had these with our leftover Chinese food a couple weeks back, and we liked it, so I picked up three packages. Went over the cheese already. I also did get some more V8, uh, eight pack of the original and an eight pack of the spicy for Glenn. We actually try to have one every day in the morning before we eat breakfast. So we've been going through quite a bit of V8. And no yolk butter noodles. Picked up two bags. These are the broads. And Walmart normally does not have any of these on the shelves. They're usually out, but they had like three. So I took two of them. Like I said, if I see them, I'm going to take at least two. So this now gives us seven bags. Ten was my goal. Um, so we're doing okay on that. Okay, so this is the Walmart haul. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for taking time out of the day to watch this video. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.